This video is going to show how to set up encrypted chat between end-to-end -end encrypted chat between two different computers. In particular, the the Raspberry Pi uh, consumer reference device uh, running Ubuntu. That's the the main target that we're looking at. We're going to install that for the first time on one of those devices. I'm going to show how to set it up, and then you can. That will allow you to do end-to-end -end encrypted communication between that computer and any other computer. And uh, there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube uh, about this software, but I couldn't find one that was specifically running Ubuntu, as in not Tails, but Ubuntu Linux, and um, and using XMPP. So, so that's the main difference of this video between other tutorials you might find. Although I do encourage checking out other tutorials if, if anything in this video does not fit your use case. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time discussing end-to-end -end encryption and why it's important. Uh, there's again lots of videos if you're unfamiliar with what end-to-end -end encryption is and why it, you might want it. I'm going to assume you already know that and already know that you want it. Um, for the particularly for the Permissionless Software Foundation and the JavaScript development that we do around blockchain, we need to pass sensitive data between two computers a lot, like mnemonics or private keys, and that's why we need end-to-end -end encryption. It's a really important developer tool um, when working on blockchain. So uh, let me set up my remote desktop so that we can see the Raspberry Pi that I'll be working on. Uh, let's see, 192.168.2.123. So this does involve a graphical user interface, which is why I have the remote desktop. So I'm looking at my, my Pi 400 as if I was sitting in front of it. And uh, I'm going to open up a terminal. And uh, there's two packages we need to install, uh, Pigeon and Pigeon, Pigeon OTR. So Pigeon is the chat application, and Pigeon OTR is the off-the-record uh, plugin, which uh, is what enables the end-to-end the -end encryption. So I'll just give that a minute to install. OK, so we've got them installed, and now we can run them by simply going to typing in pigeon. Oh, looks like my remote desktop crashed, maybe. Oh no, it's the network connection failed for some reason. Okay. Okay, so now that Pigeon's installed, the next step is to set up an account. So we're going to use the Calix Institute XMPP server. So XMPP is often called Jabber. Um, there's a history there. I'm not totally familiar with it, but just if you ever hear the word Jabber and XMPP, they're the exact same thing. And um, it's a it's an old school um, communication format and uh, the, you can set up your own XMPP server. There are a lot of public XMPP servers like the Calix Institute to use. So we're not necessarily dependent on the Calix Institute. Uh, we could use any other types of them and it doesn't really matter which one we use because the message is end-to-end -end encrypted. Uh, and uh, so this is purely out of convenience. Um, that we're that we're using uh, that. So here we're going to select all the different types of chat protocols, and we're going to select XMPP. Um, let me create. Let's. Uh, I'm going to open uh, a, te a text editor just so we can remember some of what we created. 
So let's choose a username of PyTest101 and a password of uh, blah blah. That'll work. So we're going to add an account, username, and then the domain is jabber.calixinstitute. Institute.org, I believe. Yeah, calixinstitute.org. And that password was blah blah. Remember the password. And when we're creating the count, or when we're setting this up for the first time, we need to check this box because this just tells it like this is the first time, so we need to create an account rather than simply logging in. So if I did that all right, um, you give it a minute. It's not obvious. Okay, the username, create a new account. And I think, so what did we, I test 101, blah, blah. Let's see if that works. Registration successful. Okay, sometimes you have to use this and sometimes you don't but so far so good so we we successfully created an account um, and it looks like it's working I see the spinning thing so we want to enable this and then I think we can close that and now that we have an account set up uh, Okay, now that we have an account set up, so that's that's just like, uh, yes, I want to close that. That's just a default message that pops up. Now that we have Pigeon set up and an account created, we need to add the OTR plugin. So I went to plugins and off the record messaging. So we need to install this. This is, this is what enables the end-to-end -end encryption. And we also need to configure it. Um, by hitting this generate key. So now it's generated a private key and that can be used for end-to-end -end encryption. So we can close all this. Okay, so we have a private key. We can do, we have end-to-end -end encryption installed. Uh, now we need somebody to chat with. So over, so what was that? PyTest101. So going back to the pigeon that I have running on my local computer here. It's kind of confusing. So this is pigeon running on my local computer. My account is Ubuntu base. And so um, I'm going to add a buddy. Add buddy. And my buddy's name is pytest101 at jabber.calixinstitute.org. And I'm going to add that buddy. And let's see. I think we need to go back to, yeah, there we go. Um, authorize. OK, so we've authorized our buddy. And then we're going to authorize it on this end, on our local end. OK, so th this is the thing about uh, pigeon is there's a lot of back and forth so in order to s if you're actually end, end encrypted chatting with another person you have to like call them on the phone or use email or use some secondary communication medium because uh, there's a lot of like yeah did you hit the accept button it's a lot of synchronous stuff just for the setup part um, okay so now we've got uh, our two our two computers and they can basically see and chat with one another but the chat is not encrypted um, so actually, let me set up a chat and say, hey, dude. And then if we go over here, oh, that's interesting. It didn't come through yet. Huh, it's interesting that they're not communicating yet. But uh, the way you start a private conversation, let's just push through and see if we can get through this. Uh, you click Start Private Conversation. And then over here, um, 
So now we're chatting remotely. Let's see if the chats come through. Test one. There we go. Now, now, now we're chatting, and it's it's end to end encrypted. Um, everything's working, uh, but you'll notice this unverified warning. This is just like an extra step to make sure that you're actually talking to the person that you think you're talking to. And uh, so, so everything, you can basically stop at this point. Everything is end-to-end -end encrypted. I just don't like this warning. And so if you wanted to um, just go through this extra verification step, you can go, uh, you know, authenticate buddy. And it's a question answer challenge. So I usually do like the question and, oops. <laughs> the answer and hit authenticate and then this is where like a f the phone would come in like you tell them what the answer is over some other communication medium yay successfully authenticated and so here it's turned green and it's all good but over on this other side it still says unverified so I can just do the same thing here the question, the answer. And then back on the Raspberry Pi side. And this is like a one-time setup. Once this is done, it's basically like you're done. And you're, it's, you're good to go from here on out. So yay, auth is done. Um, so now I'm, I'm chatting, I'm able to send sensitive information between these two computers like private keys and mnemonics. And I know that it's all end-to-end -end encrypted. And I, there is a little bit of trust here in that I'm trusting the OTR plugin, that I'm trusting that it hasn't been tampered with, that there's no backdoors or, uh, you know, I just really don't know anything about the OTR, but this is a very old piece of software. It's used by journalists uh, to exchange private, this, this was used by Glenn Greenwald and uh, um, Edward Snowden, you know, when they, when they were working on, on all the, the, the privacy issues with the government, with the U.S. government, uh, and so this is frequently used by journalists to communicate privately with sources. So it's a, it's pretty trustworthy just in the way that it's used. In future videos, I'm going to show how to send end-to-end -end encrypted messaging using the Bitcoin Cash blockchain and elliptic curve encryption, and I trust that a little more because it uses the same encryption that Bitcoin's based on, and so if Bitcoin's working. I'm pretty sure this encryption's working just fine. Um, and so I just feel like that's a higher bar of trust. Uh, but, but this is a very convenient old software. It's been like, I've used this stuff for a decade and it's never changed. So it's probably never going to change. So it's, it's very reliable in that sense. And, uh, and this software works on every operating system.